A walk along the trails on Langford's Bear Mountain is a peaceful escape for many. But for some, that peace was disturbed this morning after hearing the news that those walks may soon no longer be free. I'm not a big fan of fees. I don't think the, this particular trail is really, yes, it's busy, but I don't think it's overused. The company who owns the resort, Ecoasis Development, is implementing a new trail network program, which will force non-Bear Mountain residents to pay fees for hiking and mountain biking trails, as well as restrict access to certain trails. In a statement, CEO Dan Matthews says, we are experiencing a growing number of hikers and cyclists on our property, including our golf courses and cart paths, which has raised serious safety and liability issues along with increased costs. This is a land management issue for our private property. Property. For some of the residents of the mountain, there's fear that the fees would give off the impression that it's not an inclusive environment. One of the main aspects of being in Bear Mountain is that you do have a community, but you also have a group of people that come up and enjoy the vicinity and also help, you know, the hotel, the coffee shop. So it helps the whole community be a little bit more united. Longtime mountain biker Bailey Avino says charging fees will more than likely push riders to go elsewhere. I think they're on the fast track road to obscurity on those trails. Mountain bikers are not country clubbers. You know, they're more likely to uh, try and uh, find a, a new and exciting trail to go ride uh, anywhere between uh, Nanaimo and here. That's free. The cost of admission, which trails will have limited access, and how it will be enforced has yet to be announced.